Hey guys, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS device without a computer, of course. As you can see, I just want to show you that I'm on the newest version of iOS, which is 13.6. Uh, and I know a lot of people want to know how to jailbreak the computer. It is possible. So you got to go to this website, checkrain.org. Now, you might have heard of the CheckRain jailbreak, but it requires a computer. But with this insane website, which just um, got leaked to the public, you can actually get it uh, without needing a jailbreak. So you got to press on get the beta now and then press allow, and it will basically install a profile in your device. Uh, to initiate the profile, you got to head over to the settings app. And then there's a thing that says profile downloaded, and it will show up at the top. Just press install, uh, next, uh, press install one more time, and then there's going to be a red install button you have to press. So a few of those. <laughs> Once you do it, you got the CheckRain app installed, and you have to open it, and then you can pretty much jailbreak. So it's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm just going to give it a minute to load because there is a lot of content in this app. It's not a big app, but there's just a lot of stuff in it. Uh, so once it's done, there'll be an option to jailbreak. Uh, you just press on that, and it's going to bypass the sandbox, which is pretty much going to uh, enable your device to jailbreak. As you can see, I'm out of the sandbox. It's going to exploit your device's kernel. As you can see, it's already done with that. Uh, this all depends on the speed of your device. So if you have an older device, it might actually take longer to jailbreak, so I just want to let you guys know. Uh, now it's patching the kernel. It's installing something called KeenLab. It's bypassing the AMC, but that actually failed. So if it fails... You never know what will happen. Sometimes you might have to uh, just confirm you're a human. You see that thing, I'm not a robot. So I have to do that. So I'm just going to press on it, give it a second to load, and it thinks I'm a bot. This is just a protection to ensure people don't uh, steal the jailbreak for free and then try to charge people money for it. So you basically have to install two apps and run them for at least 30 seconds. Uh, I'm going to install this first one, Solitaire. So let me just go ahead and install that. Give it a minute to load, and I'm going to go back, and I'm going to install a second app. I'm going to go with this one, Bubble Shooter, and this one, I think I have to actually search it on the App Store or complete a certain level. So let me just press install, and it's installing, or it's bringing me the App Store. Give it a second. All right, there we go. So I have to install this game, and uh, all right, so it's installing right now. Let's give it a minute to load. Shouldn't take long. I'm just going to fast forward this. Um, so you guys don't have to watch me in real time downloading Bubble Shooter because it might take a while. Uh, my internet isn't the greatest in the world. It's pretty slow actually, so just giving it a minute to install. Uh, I'm going to open up the first app, Solitaire, while this is going on. Um, you don't need to buy anything in these apps if it tells you to buy something you don't have to. Uh, also, you don't need any knowledge of whatever you're doing in the app, so you don't have to make an account. See, I'm not really too skilled at playing Solitaire, but that doesn't matter. Now, there's actually a timer in this app, which is incredibly useful because I don't have to play this uh, for like 15 minutes. I'll know when the timer's up. Um, most apps actually don't have this, so I recommend having like a clock next to you so you know if you've played the app for 30 seconds. Uh, I'm done for now. So the, the second app, Bubble Shooter, is still installing. My internet is just not good. Uh, all right, so there we go. Bubble Shooter is installed, so I'm just going to open it up and uh, press play there and it's powered by skills or whatever so yeah uh these games um some people prefer to do games uh, i've heard from people because it passes the time more uh sometimes you might have to install an app which can be really boring um so yeah this is just installing right now all right i have to allow notifications i'm not really too skilled at playing this game i, I don't think i've played it before but um you just got to pretty much roll with the punches, just install the app, press all the buttons that show up. Just don't buy anything because I don't want to be responsible for you guys messing up on the human verification and paying for something and then telling me in the comments that you bought something. So I just have to begin a match. Welcome to Bubble Shooters. This is like one of those games where you play with the bubbles. Really not my type of game, but... Um, Alright, so yeah guys, um, we're almost done here and once we're done... We're going to restart our phone, so... Yeah, I think, I think I've done it enough, at least to demonstrate for you guys. Uh, so basically, guys, once you've completed the human verification, once you've installed those two apps, Cydia is going to install. You do not even need to restart your phone. Cydia will just appear on your phone. So guys, as you can see, it's reloading data right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a comment below if you face any problems, and also consider liking and subscribing. As you can see, I've got all the packages and features, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you in a future video, guys, so get ready to watch more, and peace out.